The Cotentin Peninsula French pronunciation, Kate T, also known as the Cherbourg Peninsula, is a peninsula in Normandy that forms part of the northwest coast of France. It extends northwestward into the English Channel, towards Great Britain. To its west lie the Channel Islands and to the southwest lies the Brittany Peninsula. The peninsula lies wholly within the department of Manche, in the region of Normandy. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> The Cotentin Peninsula is part of the Armorican Massif with the exception of the plain lying in the Paris Basin and lies between the estuary of the Vera River and Mont-Saint-Michel Bay. It is divided into three areas, the headland of Cap de la Hague, the Cotentin Pass the plain, and the valley of the Serre River Val de Serre. It forms the bulk of the Department of Manche. Its southern part, known as La Marais, the marshlands, crosses from east to west from just northwest of saint Lô and east of Lesse and marks a natural border with the rest of Manche. The largest town in the peninsula is Cherbourg on the north coast, a major cross-channel port. The western coast of the peninsula, known as the Côte des Isles, islands coast", faces the Channel Islands. Ferry links serve Carteret and the islands of Jersey, Guernsey and Alderney from Dialet. Off the east coast of the peninsula lies the island of Tatihou and the Isle saint marcouf The oldest stone in France is found in outcroppings on the coast of Cap de la Hague. At the tip of the peninsula, Cotentin was almost an island at one time. Only a small strip of land in the heath of Lesse connected the peninsula with the mainland. Thanks to the so-called Ports of Flot FR, which close at flood and open at ebb and which were built in the west coast and in the Bay des Vais, on the east coast, the Cotentin has become a peninsula. The Côte des Havres lies between the Cape of Carteret and the Cape of Granville. To the northwest, there are two sand dune systems, one stretching between Souvel Hague and Vauvel, the other one stretching between Cap of Carteret and Bobigny. History. Roman Armorica The peninsula formed part of the Roman geographical area of Armorica. The town known today as Coutances, capital of the Unelli, a Gaulish tribe, acquired the name of Constantia in 298 during the reign of Roman Emperor Constantius Chlorus. The base of the peninsula, called in Latin the Pagus Constantinus, joined together with the Pagus Coriovalensis centered upon Cherbourg to the north, subsequently became known as the Cotentin. Under the Carolingians it was administered by Viscounts drawn successively from members of the saint Sauveur family, at their seat saint Sauveur on the Douve. <inaudible> <inaudible> medieval history King Alan the Great of Brittany d. 907 waged war successfully on the Norsemen. As the result of his conquests, the Cotentin Peninsula was included theoretically in the territory of the Duchy of Brittany, after the Treaty of Compiègne 867 with the King of the Franks. The Dukes of Brittany suffered continuing Norse invasions and Norman raids, and Brittany lost the Cotentin Peninsula and Avranchin nearby after only 70 years of political domination. Meanwhile, Vikings settled on the Cotentin in the 9th and 10th centuries. There are indications of a whaling industry there dating to the 9th century, possibly introduced by Norsemen. They were followed by Anglo-Norse and Anglo-Danish people, who established themselves as farmers. The Cotentin became part of Normandy in the early 10th century. Many placenames there are derived from the Norse language. Examples include La Hague, from Hagi, meadow, or enclosure, and La Hogue, from Hager, hill, or mound. Other names are typical, all those ending with tot ketot, from topt, site of a house, modern toft, beck, brickwebeck, holbeck, from becker, brook, stream, etc. In 1088 Robert Curthose, Duke of Normandy, infeft the Cotentin to his brother Henry, who later became King of England. Henry, as Count of the Cotentin, established his first power base there and in the adjoining Avranchin, which lay to the south, beyond the River Thar. During the Hundred Years' War, King Edward III of England landed in the Bay of La Hogue, and then came to the Church of Quetehou in Val de Serre. It was there that Edward III knighted his son Edward, the Black Prince. A remembrance plaque can be seen next to the altar. <laughs> Modern history 
The naval battle of La Hogue in 1692 was fought off Saint Vaast La Hogue near Barfleur. The town of Valognes was, until the French Revolution, a provincial social resort for the aristocracy, nicknamed the Versailles of Normandy. The social scene was described in the novels of Jules Barbie Dorevely, himself from the Cotentin. Little now remains of the grand houses and chateau, they were destroyed by combat there during the Battle of Normandy in World War II. During World War II, part of the 1944 Battle of Normandy was fought in the Cotentin. The westernmost part of the D-Day landings was at Utah Beach, on the southeastern coast of the peninsula, and was followed by a campaign to occupy the peninsula and take Cherbourg. Economy The peninsula's main economic resource is agriculture. Dairy and vegetable farming are prominent activities. Along the coast, aquaculture of oysters is a growing industry. Cider and calvados are produced from locally grown apples and pears. The region hosts two important nuclear power facilities. At Flaminville there is a nuclear power plant, where the second European pressurized reactor in the world is being constructed, with commissioning delayed to 2016 or later. Kogma La Hague site, a large nuclear waste reprocessing and storage complex operated by Areva NC, is located a few miles to the north, at Beaumont Hague. The facility stores all high-level waste from the French nuclear power program in one large vault. Nuclear industry provides a substantial portion of jobs in the region. The roads used for transport of nuclear waste have been blocked many times in the past by environmental action group Greenpeace. Local environmental groups have voiced concerns about the radioactivity levels of the cooling water of both these nuclear sites, which is being flushed into the Bay of Vaval. However, the emitted radioactivity is several orders of magnitude below natural background levels and does not pose any hazard. There are two important naval shipyards in Cherbourg. The state-owned shipyard DCNS has built French nuclear submarines since the 1960s. Privately owned CMN builds frigates and patrol vessels for various states, mostly from the Middle East. Tourism is also an important economic activity in this region. Many tourists visit the D-Day invasion beaches, including Utah Beach in the Cotentin. At St. Mir Eglise a few miles away from the beach, there is a museum commemorating the action of the 82nd Airborne Division and 101st Airborne Division. The Cité de la Mer in Cherbourg is a museum of oceanic and undersea subjects. The main attraction is Redoubtable, the first French nuclear submarine, launched in 1967. Topic: <culture>, Culture. After quitting political life, the political thinker Alexis de Tocqueville (1805–1859) retreated to the family estate of Tocqueville, where he wrote much of his work. Due to its comparative isolation, the peninsula is one of the remaining strongholds of the Norman language, and the local dialect is known as Cotentinet. The Norman language poet Cotis Capel described the environment of the peninsula, while French language poet Jacques Prevert made his home at omenville le petit The painter Jean-François Millet was also born on the peninsula. The Norman language writer Alfred Rossel, native of Cherbourg, composed many songs which form part of the heritage of the region. Rossel's song Sous la May, On the Sea, is often sung as a regional patriotic song. Topic References. Topic Other sources. Renault, Jean, Les Vikings et la Normandie, West France, 2002. ISBN 2 7373 0258 7. Renault, Jean, Les deux des Vikings, West France. 2002. ISBN 2 7373 1468 2.